um, it's easy for me to look at our Berkey filter, which is a gravity filter, right? That you know is you know is is great, right? We love our Berkey, but it's just a gravity filter. It, it's a basic premise. It's kind of like a HEPA filter. It just is running water through a, a very good filter. That then what you're left with is just a very pure water on the other side of it. But how is how clean is this? Like how does it how does it filter the water? Because I'm assuming it's not just a typical kind of like your own version of a HEPA filter, right? Because if you're pulling in water from the air, I imagine something different would have to happen, right? Correct. So not only do we have an activated carbon and charcoal uh, filter that's filtering the air that's coming in, but then the water goes into a reservoir tank. There's two UV lights that are inside of it. for So for microbial or bacteria, where the water sitting in a holding tank, it is constantly being treated with ultraviolet light. And then it goes through a three-stage filtration system. I, I, I've compared it to almost as good as an RO, but it's not RO quite because RO will remove all of the minerals. So there are minerals in the air. So this machine will retain the minerals that you want. And then it goes through activated carbon. It goes, goes through a sediment. And then it goes through a pico block filter. There's actually three filters in there. They're about nine and a half inches long. And they, they have to be uh, periodically changed. I say after you run about 1,000 gallons of water through it. So maybe, maybe, every, every, um, maybe every nine months to a year, you change the filters that are inside of there for, for peak performance um, for, for the machine. But again... There's a lot of other things that I could recommend that if somebody was on the go and wanted to keep things from getting in, um, I don't know if you ever saw this. Did, did you ever see the Go, which is our battery-operated air purifier? No, I didn't see that one. I saw the, I saw the portable this, water uh, filter. I didn't see that, though. Yep. So this right here is the Go. This right here it uses uh, about uh, uh, 12 million negative ions per cubic centimeter per second. You could literally set this right next to the water gen and it will keep almost everything from even getting close to the machine. It'll repel everything. And you could plug that in. It's a table topper. You could use that as a secondary line of defense. These are very inexpensive. I think these are only like 100, 150 bucks on the website. Um, but this is rechargeable. You could put it in a bedroom, put it in the basement, and, and, and it does have a four-hour battery backup. So you could take it with you if you're outside meditating, touching a tree. You, you put it with you, and, and that right there has a – it's got the needlepoint negative ionization, and it's got an ozone mode. So if you need to get rid of anything that you could smell or disinfect. But there, there's, in, there's endless options. And, and, again, your Berkey that you have, if you're out and about – you could still take the water if you wanted to make the water even more pristine. The difference is, is this is when you have no access to water whatsoever. This is a, a prepper's dream because those guys already have electricity in their trucks. Those guys already have the, the solar panels. They already have the battery packs. And, and again, this is to be able to hope that you never, ever have to use it. But you can come home and drink clean, pristine water that's never been touched by the government. And that's what I love so much about the atmospheric water generator is it's just sitting there, it's running, and it's producing clean drinking water for you wherever and whenever. So these, when I look at these machines, uh, right, the, 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 the water filter, uh, you know, the air filter, um, you know, these, they, I would imagine they're like really expensive. Uh, you, know, you know, it could be you know, tens of thousands of dollars for, you know, probably the more advanced stuff, but even these household machines, so like, what kind of price point are we talking about? Because, you know, we're living under Bidenomics right now. Everyone's uh, is, is stressed for money. But, you know, likewise, I think that for me, it's like, well, I'm not stopping my prepping. It just means that I'm not going on vacation. I'm building a chicken coop with that money, right? So it's all about, you know, what are the priorities? And for my family, our priority is protecting our future, right? So we are like every spare cent that we have either goes into a little bit of silver to set aside or it's it's going into long term you know long term food storage or you know we invested it in a freeze dryer right you know so we bought a large harvest right freeze dryer and so we've got you know a huge stock of of freeze dried food that we've done so um to walk us through I'll, I'll pull the website up uh, you know what kind of uh, price points are we looking at for these products um you know what what do you recommend people start with um just kind of walk us through if someone lands on the website which is airwaterhealing.com so obviously everyone's glued to the election right now. How's Trump doing in the polls? How did Kamala's recent interview affect her chances? 